So I'm going I'm to demonstrate this one first. Uh, this is called the ICX or ImageCast X Prime. Uh, use on this device as you're currently using. The voter gets a card that they get at the registration table, having only their ballot information on there, no personal information. <coughs> they then approach this device, which can be housed in a, in a voting booth like this. This is a, a representation. We can use a number of different types. Or they can be on a table like this with a privacy screen and a chair. So, we, so they put their card in, just as they do now. This one has a English and Spanish ballot. You won't have to worry about that, at least now. Um, it brings up a, a screen, so this is, it, it tells you what the election is, what the election date is. Um, and again, that's important from the standpoint if it's a primary. This is just a simple ballot. Um, we have a ballot target for the voter on the left, which is how they have to be presented in Ohio. So I make my selection, and just like you have now, there's no ambiguity. You can't overvote, um, but you can deselect if you've made a mistake or want to change. If you want it to be larger, if you have to use these like I do, um, and you want it larger, we have a voter activated screen enhancer so that they can make that print larger and can see that. So moving on through, um, the next uh, phase would be for casting, casting the vote. So I have to do my review. I've looked at my review. Everything looks great just the way it should. I'm going to print my ballot. So I'm going through the ballot. I have the same review capability. Scrolling up and down. If I see that my ballot is correct and it's what I want, I can print my ballot. It's going to ask me to uh, cast the ballot now or reject or review my choices. So I'm going to cast the ballot. And again, it has the same sizing and everything I showed you on the other, other tablet. And it prints my ballot. Now, these will both fit in a voting booth of that nature. That's what Michigan is using. So you print your ballot, it's got a QR code on it. And so now the voter goes from a voting station, whether it's here on a table or in a voting booth, and you're gonna have, depending on the size of your jurisdiction, you're gonna have one or more scanners that this is what's actually, this is nothing's been counted at this point, this is just a, a ballot representation. This is a, you know, you can do a review here and if you see that something's done, you can turn that back in and have it uh, made a, as a spoiled ballot and come back here, you have to get another card and, and revote. Um, or you can walk it to a centrally located scanning device and place it in that scanner. And it's going to scan that ballot just like it would a, you know, a, a pre-marked ballot or a, or a pre-printed, pre-printed in mark.